Aloha, and welcome to part 7 of Mega Man X7. We're in Ride Borski's level, and Ride Borski's level is a very different level. We are on a jet bike, and we have, I think, two or three minutes to find 20 bombs remaining on the track. If you destroy all the bombs, you get to fight the Maverick Ride Borski. If you don't get all the bombs in the three minutes you have, well, then you die, and then you have to start all over. But uh, it's really not that hard, and I make this level seem pretty goddamn boring because I take it really, really slowly. I can go faster than this, and I can overlap the track like five times if I really wanted to. But I figure slow and steady will help make this track go by so much easier. There's reploids on the track that you can run into to pick up. There's bombs, and the bombs again, you just have to walk over them. Uh, there's a heart tank and a weapon tank which refills all of your weapon energy lying around somewhere. I didn't pick up the weapon tank because I accidentally missed it, but you know. This level's pretty damn easy if you ask me. The enemies standing in your way don't take off that much health. You can shoot them pretty damn easily. Uh, I don't find this level too bad. There's You got plenty of time to find all these bombs. Anywho, I need to address something that some commenters have been saying. Uh, Apparently some people are having trouble hearing this game. I didn't notice because my laptop can hear it. I went to my friends and his computer can hear the audio. Uh, it seems that some people who don't have a left speaker or something like that can't hear my gameplay audio. And I can only tell you that it's probably because of BJ's recorder and how something was off about it the day we recorded X7. It was desynced when I recorded it. Like, the footage was desynced when I looked at it, and I had to spend quite a lot of time syncing up the audio and the gameplay footage, you know? I don't know what to tell you. I can hear it fine on my computer, so, sorry. Are you guys remnants of the road attackers? How dare you group us with those punks! You'll get it for this! Oh, so you must be the road riders then. Why, you, you, I'm gonna, I oughta, you! Ride Borski is a clear example of why I think some of the weapon weaknesses in X7 are pretty goddamn stupid. Like, sometimes it's clear and obvious, like Splash Warfly and Flame Hyenard and Tornado Tanyan. But Ride Borski's special weakness is the ability you got from uh, Flame Hyenard, where you create an explosion, like a, a little bomb, that when you hit him. And, it's, and when you're zero, you create this little ground-pounding effect. The thing is, Axel wastes that shot in, like, five, six shots. Zero wastes his ability in two shots. That's the ability right there. Okay, maybe, Axel doesn't waste it in like six, but he still doesn't get enough of it, if you ask me. Sometimes you can miss Ride Borski pretty badly, and then you wasted a shot, and it doesn't take down his health nearly quick enough to finish the fight. It stuns him, it makes him go, HOLY MOLY! But, uh, <laughs> but I don't think there's enough of it. And uh, when you run out of it, then you gotta resort to using the Axel bullets slash X Buster slash Zero Saber. I'm not saying it's a big deal or anything. Ride Borski's just kind of annoying like that. You'll see later, there's a lot of special abilities that just don't seem to do as good as they should. Especially Snipe Anteater, but uh, we'll get to that. Snipe Anteater... But anyway, Ride Borski here just loves to drive all over the place. He loves to send these wheels at you. You gotta watch out for that. The level's kind of disorienting because of the fence floor you've got and the top-down view. It's very awkward to look at if you're playing on a small TV. Um, when he charges at you, you want to try and jump over him, but I sometimes you just never do, and I always seem to get charged into and hit against the laser wall. For the most part, he's fairly easy to predict, but, uh, you know, you might have trouble with Ride Borski, you might not. I don't think he's that bad, honestly. You always have two characters to, uh, spend on this guy, remember that? So if Axel's dying like he was there, bring out Zero. That was a ground pound effect I just did to Ride Borski. Zero can only do that ability twice, and it doesn't even take off that much health. 
Again, what good is a weakness if you can't use it? <laughs> but regardless, Rydborski still isn't that bad. At least I don't think he's that bad. I mean, he kinda almost killed me, but you know. He's done like dinner! Anyway, folks, we got a lot of plot, so, uh, enjoy. Oh, wait, we're not done yet. <laughs> we got a special weapon from Ride Borski. We got. Anyway, you create a wheel, and if you're X or Axel, you also create a wheel. It's kind of like uh, Wheel Gator from Mega Man X2. You shoot a wheel, it rolls in front of people. And it's Snipe Anteater's weakness. Sorta. <laughs> but anyway, folks, uh, now we got plenty and plenty and plenty of Reploids. So you know what that means, folks. We're not going to be using Axel anymore because we're finally getting Mega Man X back. You know, Axel, he's just a lighter version of X in this game, I find. When I do my Mega Man X8 playthrough, I will be using Axel a lot because he does have his uses. But in X7, he's just a lighter version. I know he can use the copy ability to take advantage of Reploid's powers and get to certain areas that X cannot. But again, this game is easy. I don't need all the Reploids. I don't need the sub the subtanks. So who cares? Enjoy the plot! something else. Who goes there? Show yourself! Don't you find the Maverick Hunters to be a bit too much of a nuisance? Maverick Hunters? Well, sure. I don't like them. But they've got nothing to do with us. We'll do as we please. Hunters or no. Get lost! I don't even know who the heck you are. Me? Let's just say I'm a sympathizer with your cause. The rescue of a captured Reploid is progressing smoothly. Thanks to those two. Hmm. Yes. But it's causing a lot of damage. Is there nothing that can be done? Not much. Even Zero has his limits. Axel is doing good work, but he's still a child. We can't expect much more with their present abilities. Zero, do you read me? I'm going too. Take me with you. X? Okay. Please. To finish things, I've got to do it. To finish this once and for all. Yeah, let's show that red alert how it's done. Yay, we finally got Mega Man X back. The main fucking character of the game, God damn it! And uh, surprisingly, usually Zero is my favorite character to play as, but X's X-Buster is so goddamn powerful that it can destroy even Mavericks pretty damn easily. So, uh, I'm gonna bring out X this time around. <laughs> and now we're going to face off with Snipe Anteater. And uh, his stage is a bit nauseating sometimes because it's kind of... Flashy, let's just say that. He's in a cyberspace level. X handles the same way he does in all of the X games. He can charge up his X Buster, he can uh, dash and jump and climb walls, and uh, eventually, you could, and there's a lot of Dr. Light parts he could find to upgrade his abilities, and we'll be finding a Dr. Light part in Snipe and Eater stage, go figure. But uh, we'll be seeing that in part 8. Toodles! <laughs> 